Hey there everyone, this is Michael Dougal. I review supplements and during this video, we're going to answer the commonly asked question, do you need to ingest 5-HTP along with L-tyrosine? Because the idea is you want to have your neurotransmitters properly balanced and you don't want to be too high on dopamine through using L-tyrosine and you also don't want to be too high on serotonin, which you can potentially increase those levels through using 5-HTP. And if you're wondering, do you even need to worry about taking these supplements anyway? Probably not, but if you consider yourself somebody lacking motivation, perhaps low energy levels, or you feel like something's a little bit off then you can consider this particular routine and I'm going to get into the actual dosages and answer whether or not or in what circumstances you may want to consider taking each supplement independently. And I've been using both supplements on and off for over eight years now. This is uh, L-tyrosine. I've got 500 milligram capsules and this is 5-HTP. We have uh, 200 milligram capsules but that's a fairly high amount with 5-HTP. With L-tyrosine 500 milligrams is actually on the smaller side. Of the two I really prefer L-tyrosine. I barely take 5-HTP. Maybe I'll take it a couple of times a month just because I'd like to be in a bit more calmer state or perhaps if I've used too many stimulants, I like that 5-HTP can help me be a little bit more calm. However, for most individuals, they seem to prefer L-tyrosine because it gives them that productivity boost. So L-tyrosine, I would actually rate it a 10 out of 10. Yes, I like it that much. Whereas 5-HTP, I'd rate it a 4 out of 10. And if you'd like to know the rating on a whole list of supplements, then be sure to watch this video over here. Something I do find really intriguing about 5-HTP though is the fact that it can really adjust your mood and it can do it very quickly. So let's say you get some bad news maybe at work, then you're naturally gonna be in a bad state. You're gonna feel bad, maybe your mind's gonna go in the gutter a little bit and ask yourself all these negative questions. Well, you can actually ingest 5-HTP and those thoughts are gone. You suddenly think positively, which is not necessarily a good thing because using 5-HTP kind of acts like a bandage. It's a temporary solution for whatever you're dealing with, but it is definitely an intriguing supplement and it's not a stimulant, which is always nice because the fact that usually to get that sort of feeling, you would have to drink a cup of coffee. So what 5-HTP does is it increases our levels of the really important neurotransmitter serotonin. And serotonin is related to sleep, it's related to calmness, it's related to feelings of happiness. If you've ever heard about the phenomena of being being in a bad mood and wanting to eat carbohydrates, that's because in fact, carbohydrates as well increase levels of serotonin. So uh, people that are serotonin deficient are often feeling symptoms of sadness, they're feeling tired, they're having poor sleep. And those individuals may benefit from daily use of 5-HTP. And the reason they may consider using L-tyrosine is because there is discussion around increasing your serotonin levels also makes it necessary for you to increase your dopamine levels. And you would do that through using the supplement L-tyrosine. So what happens is you ingest L-tyrosine, which converts to L-dopa, which converts to dopamine. And so when you have increased dopamine levels, you're often going to be in a more motivated state. You're going to be alert. You're going to feel good feelings of concentration. If you were to drink a cup of coffee, yes, that also increases your dopamine levels. So I love L-tyrosine. I don't like things which typically calm me down too much, which is maybe one of the reasons why I prefer using L-tyrosine over 5-HTP. With L-tyrosine, it has so many practical uses because you can ingest a supplement and really feel something happening for a couple of hours as far as a boost of concentration, getting things done. And often in the later portion of the day when I want to drink that cup of coffee, have that caffeine kick, but I know it's going to keep me up at night, I would use L-tyrosine instead. And that way I'm able to get the boost of alertness and concentration without having it negatively affect my sleep quality. And dopamine deficiency is not any better than serotonin deficiency. In fact, dopamine deficient people often feel uh, feelings of anxiety, low energy levels, and really just a lack of motivation and drive and zest for life to do anything. So in a practical context, the way that you often see these two supplements used together is actually to help with symptoms of depression. And I'm definitely not saying to abandon your antidepressant. Never do that unless it's under the guidance of your general practitioner. But there are many success stories about individuals that have actually stopped the use of their antidepressant and they've introduced this specific combo 5-HTP and L-tyrosine. And then there were a lot of subsequent papers regarding this specific matter because this uh, really pointed to the fact that 5-HTP can have antidepressant properties. And they actually do as well comment that there are indications that the same holds true for tyrosine. And so it is actually somewhat promising that both these supplements can be used together to help with the symptoms of depression. I do want to remind you that the benefits are going to be highly variable between individuals. Some individuals may actually try this combo and feel worse. Some individuals may need to have a different ratio of 5-HTP to L-tyrosine than another individual. What you need to know though is that if you were to consume L-tyrosine and increase your dopamine levels, likely your serotonin levels would actually decrease. And the same applies with 5-HTP, that if you were to ingest 5-HTP and increase your levels of serotonin, your dopamine levels would as well drop. If you consider yourself to be somewhat of an anxious person, somewhat of a sad person, perhaps you're getting poor sleep, then you may be better off just supplementing with 5-HTP. And a good way you can do that is by taking a 50 milligrams 
milligrams twice a day, working your way up to 100 milligrams twice a day. If you're somebody that would describe themselves as being depressed, being anxious and having a poor ability to concentrate, then you're an individual that may actually benefit only using L-tyrosine. Although L-tyrosine is actually a pretty strong supplement for a lot of individuals, including myself, I'm pretty sensitive to L supplements. So just starting off by using L-tyrosine at 500 milligrams once a day will be a good start. However, if you were to describe yourself as being depressed, that experiences fatigue and you're anxious, then likely you'd be an individual that would benefit by actually using both supplements, L-tyrosine and 5-HTP. And here's how you would do that if you were to go ahead and use both supplements. So your daily routine would be using 50 to 100 milligrams of 5-HTP twice a day. You can actually work your way up to 100 milligrams to 200 milligrams if you feel that you need it. And then you would go ahead and use 500 milligrams to 1500 milligrams of L-tyrosine two to three times a day. And it's actually often recommended that your ratio between 5-HTP and L-tyrosine is one to 10. Meaning if you were to ingest 50 milligrams of 5-HTP during the day, then you would be having 500 milligrams of L-tyrosine. Fortunately, there's not a lot of restrictions around this specific combo. It's not like you need to take them both fasted. You need to take them in a fed state. Actually, it doesn't even matter if you were to ingest them together. You can have them at different times during the day. You really have to find what works best for you. For me, I like using 5-HTP before bed because it does actually help me feel a bit calmer. L-tyrosine, I wouldn't use before bed because like I mentioned, it makes you stimulated, it makes you energized, and that's not the feeling you'd want to have uh, with L-tyrosine. So for me personally, I would probably use um, L-tyrosine sometime in the morning, sometime in the late afternoon, whereas 5-HTP, I would probably use it in the early afternoon and then once before bed. And some good practices for you to consider if you are going to use these supplements long-term is not necessarily to take a break, but consider using the lowest dosage that you can have for both supplements. I think you're gonna be better off this way. Before these two supplements, I mean, we weren't finding ways to artificially increase these neurotransmitters, serotonin and dopamine, and so you'd wanna be a bit careful. With L-tyrosine, it seems a bit more common to build somewhat of a tolerance to. So what that means is that you ingest L-tyrosine you feel it working, but perhaps 30 days later, you don't notice it having the same benefits. And then what happens is you have to increase your amount of L-tyrosine you are to use each day. I'm somebody that's perhaps a bit fortunate because I have not built any sort of tolerance to L-tyrosine or 5-HTP. So if I were to use them a year straight, I would probably feel the same on the 365th day as I did on the first day using these supplements. However, most individuals just aren't like that. And potential side effects you would want to watch out for are anxiety. Uh, with L-tyrosine specifically, what happens is it hits you pretty fast you feel energetic, but it also does come with a bit of anxiety, um, especially a couple of hours after use, and it's often going to be accompanied with a bit of a headache. With 5-HTP, side effects aren't that common. Again, it's not that effective for most people or even noticeable, but it could just be a nice little boost to your mood. What are your thoughts on these two supplements? Make sure to comment below, drop a like, subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. And if you want to chat with me one-on-one, -on -one, you can message me on Patreon and be sure to visit our Discord server. We have a 24-7 chat room. We're answering questions in a time-sensitive fashion. I thank you for your interest in supplements and I look forward to seeing you next time.